Welcome back everyone, my name is Joel Feld and today's video I wanted to discuss where your videos actually live with an iMovie. So, let's do it. For iMovie, whenever you're dealing with videos, videos take up a tremendous amount of space and they can take up space over time because of something called render files. And we'll get more into rendering and what those files are later, but essentially when you have video clips, you're importing them into events within iMovie and those events are stored in what are called libraries. So iMovie has these giant libraries that can hold a lot of different events and your events hold your video clips. And those video clips are copied from your camera, memory card, whatever it may be, and they're stored in these libraries. On the computer here, before I even open up iMovie, if I go to the Finder and I go to the Movies folder, this is where the default location of your iMovie library is. And you probably have one called iMovie Library. And for me, I actually have a couple different libraries because I like to organize my video clips based upon what I'm doing. And having multiple libraries is actually really, really helpful. And, and I'll show you why in a second here. But this is where your videos actually live. Now, if I double click on this iMovie library, it's actually gonna open up iMovie and bring me right into where all of this video footage is. So notice on the left here, I have this iMovie library and it consists of three different events, computer B-roll, green screen, and wedding day. So inside of here, there's three different events that all contain a whole bunch of video clips or pictures, and they're all stored in this one entire library. Now the reason that it's important to understand where this actually lives is over time you're going to fill up the hard drive and you may want to get an external hard drive like what I have here. Uh, which by the way, these little sand disks here, amazing. Seriously, if you're looking for a hard drive, I'll, I'll, sh I'll leave a link below down in the bottom. But these sand disks, whoo, so tiny. I mean look how tiny this is. Uh, like look, I don't know if you can see, it's focusing on my face. but. Uh, here it is like it's it's seriously the size of my thumb like tall wise but these are really really awesome they're solid state they are mm -hmm. are they pricey well mm, they've come a long way they're they're very very affordable a couple hundred dollars well worth the investment but the size alone is fantastic but long story short videos always take up a huge amount of space and often your computer is gonna fill up and if you needed to save space on your computer, you would get an external hard drive so you can move your video footage over to that external hard drive. And then anytime you're editing your video, you would need this external hard drive plugged in. So it's very common for that to happen. A lot of people have and work off an external hard drive, especially when it comes to videos. But knowing how iMovie stores your videos is really important so that you can do that next step. I'm gonna go ahead back to the Finder and I'm gonna open up these other libraries and kind of go through why I have actually multiple libraries. Because by default, most people have only one library and they put a whole bunch of events in there and then over time, you have multiple, multiple, multiple events. And the iMovie organization could use improvement, I'll just say that. And I have another video that I'll link at the end uh, or down here in the description about organizing clips inside of iMovie, but just know that having multiple libraries is another successful way to help you organize your videos. So for me, I have a Vacations iMovie library here on the left, I have an Arizona library, and I have an iMovie library. Now for me, I split them up based off of kind of what I'm doing. And there's no right or wrong answer here. It's, it's purely how you want to organize your videos. So for me, I created a whole library dedicated to Arizona because this was actually a promotional project that I was working on. So it's nothing like for me personally. So I wanted to kind of isolate it from all of my personal life and my vacations, things like that, because I wanted to quickly be able to move this whole library onto an external or someplace else without organizing it along with my personal life. So this whole entire library is all self-contained inside of this one event and I can easily find it and give it to someone 
uh, for that project. Now, the one above it is my iMovie Vacations Library, and this is just an example. So here I have three different events. This is my California trip, trip up North Shore, and some fun clips in the pool. So we can look at all the video footage here. But the library itself is more of a generalized vacation library. And then you could create all of your events based off of the vacation. So maybe we have a vacation to Florida, to Minnesota, to Chicago, to Minneapolis, and you can create multiple events within that one library. Now, if you wanted a new library, I could go up to the file and choose open library, and then I can say new. And let's say I wanted to create a, a library and call it 2021 and then choose save. So now I've created a library based off of the year. And then underneath that, I could keep it, keep the events based off of the date that the video was taken. Or maybe this is someone's birthday party. I could create another event inside of here and say, this is vacation vacation to I don't know why I have Denmark in my in my brain or I could create another event and say you know wedding whatever it may be so your videos are always in events and your events are, are always inside libraries these events can be created either prior to importing or while you're importing but the main key is knowing where your video footage actually lies now when I created this new library inside of iMovie if I go back to the finder I'm actually going to have this brand new 2021 library here in my finder so this is where the videos actually live they're all stored in here now let's say that you do need to free up space and so I want to move this to my external hard drive. So if I plug in my external hard drive to my computer, I'm going to quit out of iMovie first. So I'm going to go up to iMovie, choose quit iMovie. And then I'm going to move this over a little bit. And notice uh, down here on the, the bottom, so this is my external hard drive. Notice coffee cup, <laughs> coffee cup. Oh, and look, so I have a really cool artist friend. His name is also Joel. We worked at Apple together. We had this thing called Two Joels, One Goal. I know it sounds really corny, but uh, we like to create like challenges for the employees. This was like way back in the day, but um, really cool guy. Awesome artist. He drew this for me and for my birthday. And so we put it on a cup. All right, I digress. I like coffee and Joel's a good guy. So back to the external hard drive. So here's my external hard drive and I wanna free up space. Again, that's the whole purpose of moving um, iMovie library to an external hard drive is to free up space. So if I took this finder window and I went to 2021, I can just drag this over to the external hard drive and it's gonna copy it from the computer to this external hard drive. I'm gonna drag Arizona over here also and it's gonna copy that video footage. And it's gonna take a, a couple minutes based off of how much video footage you have. But once it's done, I'm able to go back to the actual computer, delete it, because then that video footage is on my external hard drive here. As this Arizona library copies to my external hard drive, I wanna show you a few more things that are more kind of advanced that I wouldn't recommend that you do unless you really have a need to do it. And this just really dives further into where your video files actually are at. So before I said all of your videos are stored inside of libraries and those libraries contain events. And that whole library is almost like a whole entire package. And that's how I'm able to move this Arizona library to my external hard drive because it contains everything to do with that whole entire library. All the video clips, all the events, all of the projects. Now, if I take my iMovie vacations library that's on my computer, if I right click on this, I have this option to do show package contents. Now, if I click on this and expand, this actually shows me the California event North Shore, Pool Fun, and then the project, one of the movie trailers that I have in here. And if I unfold one of these folders, notice original media, render files, shared items. This is actually where iMovie organizes everything for us behind the scenes. So you don't wanna move any files. This is not something where you wanna go and do this because you could potentially screw up all of your projects and all of that. My purpose of showing you this is so that you really understand how iMovie actually organizes all of your videos behind the scenes because it's trying to do it for a convenience for all of your stuff where you can just focus on 
picking out the good video and creating the projects that you want to create. So this is actually where those videos are behind the scenes. So I'm just going to close out of this window. So now the copying of the external is done. So I have my Arizona on my external drive here. So if I went back to my movies folder, if I deleted this library, we're going to drag this to the trash. If I go back to my external hard drive and I double click on Arizona library, it's now going to open up that library from my external hard drive. So all of my videos, all my clips are inside of this on um, this hard drive. So I could take this, plug it into a different Mac, different Apple computer, and I'm able to pick up right where I left off. It also gives me the ability to obviously free up the space physically on my computer, and it's all on this external hard drive. Now, if I don't want it on this external hard drive, I just reverse the process. I can take this Arizona library, drag it back to the movies folder on my Mac, and now it's just gonna copy that whole entire container and bring it back to my computer. You're just moving these files around and a library is really just the container that holds everything. One last thing as we do this, we talked about render files. Render files are when you create a project and you're adding text and you're adding audio effects and video effects, if your computer is not fast enough, it needs to render the video so that it's able to show it to you in real time. If you've ever been working on a computer and the video is kind of choppy and it kind of stutters a little bit, it's usually because your computer is trying to keep up with you because you're so advanced with all of your video editing. So it's trying to keep up with you and it can't do it. So it needs to render that video out and it creates these special render files so that it can give you better playback of your video files. And those files go someplace and they take up a lot of space over time. So that's where, if that ever happens to you, if I open up iMovie, we'll go back to my vacations library here. I can go to iMovie and choose preferences. And that's where you have this option that says delete render files. And it even says delete render files will free up storage space. So if I click on this, it's saying, hey, are you sure you wanna delete these? Yep, I do. I'll click on delete. And now it's gonna go through the back end and delete those render files and free up some additional storage for me. It could be a couple gigabytes, it could be a couple hundred gigabytes. It all depends on how often you delete the render files and how often your computer renders your videos. So just know that there's a couple different techniques to free up space. One is to delete these render files, but another is to move these video libraries or these iMovie uh, libraries to an external hard drive. And if we want to know where those render files live, again, we would right click on this library, go to show package contents, and underneath each event, they actually have these render files in here, a folder there. So this is actually where they live. So do not delete anything from these folders. Again, it's, don't, don't do that. I just want you to understand where these files actually live. So. That's pretty much uh, iMovie file management in a nutshell. A movies, clips, they're copied from an external hard drive, a, a movie camera, phone, iPad, whatever it may be. They're copied into events. Those events are stored inside of libraries. It's a giant container and those libraries can be moved wherever you want. So I hope you learned something. If you like this video, go ahead and uh, hit that like button down there. If you like what you saw and you wanna learn more, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell and We'll see you next time.